Some of the most polluted cities from all over the world call on Pratim Biswas with Washington University in St. Louis to advise them when facing serious public health issues from pollution. In December 2019, he traveled to India's capital city of New Delhi, where air quality reached dangerous levels in November. With the heavy smog, authorities declared a public health emergency. Schools were shut down and flights canceled. The Delhi government asked Biswas for recommendations as his aerosol and air quality research laboratory offers new techniques and technologies. We have state-of-the-art instrumentation. Some of these instruments, the least cost 100,000, could go up to half a million, a million dollars, and we use them. The lab is run by the Center for Aerosol Science and Engineering at Washington University in St. Louis, which is considered the world's best and most comprehensive center for the advancement of aerosol science and technology. Biswas oversees the state-of-the-art center at the McKelvey School of Engineering as assistant vice chancellor and department chair. With New Delhi facing a daunting problem, his lab deployed a network of high-quality particulate matter sensors in the city that measure fine particles and determine what they are made of. The data is sent to the cloud in real time, and scientists in the lab use their algorithms to determine major contributing sources of the pollution. With the information, policymakers in India may take action and control emissions. Also in December, Biswas joined his peers at the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, to celebrate the opening of the aerosol and air quality research shared facility in Mumbai. The school is now a partner in Washington University's global aerosol network. He explains just how much other parts of the world can learn from St. Louis. St. Louis uh, now historically has had very strong aerosol research efforts. Because of air pollution similar to what New Delhi has today. This is St. Louis in the late 1930s and 40s, before steps were taken to clean and monitor the air. Coal was used to heat homes. As a result, there was a lot of fine particle pollutants aerosols created. It was rather a grim situation and people were having health issues by breathing these particles in. Took Washington University professor, Professor Tucker, to really step up. He took upon himself and became the mayor of the city and then passed regulations to really control it and he solved the problem. Tucker later returned to Washington University hiring future leading scientists, a path that led to Biswas and his contributions in the field of aerosol science. In 2018, Biswas was honored with a prestigious once-in-a-lifetime award. Biswas shares his vision for the future, one that he hopes will help people across the globe live and breathe easier.